load right on me. Ron and Fez show. By the way, we were talking about Joe Walks. If you need a uh, link there, go to uh, 202 Friends on the Twitter. Uh, there's a Joe Walks up. Of course, you can see Dave's uh, new article about him and Fezzy dancing around uh, naked. That's still up It's there. still up? Yeah. I they thought have, it was going to be down like by 11.30. Yeah, they haven't been able to pull it down yet. I guess uh, they're pretty busy at the home office. Mm. Uh, Fred from Brooklyn is uh, here. Hey, course, here's, here's a nice theme song. Because you carry the weight, my friend. Well, i got to tell you, last night on my little podcast that I do, this was our smoking song for the night. Oh, is that night. right? Oh, yeah. I got real nice and high for this song last night. I uh, wish we uh, smoked on the 20s here, but what are you going to do? It's a well, long I'm not trip on the 420. i got to do the 1020 thing. Yeah. You got to keep moving along. Any 20? Any 20. A any 20 during it, the day. It's generic, sure. Uh, we haven't had you in here for a while, but you uh, said you needed to talk to East Side Dave. Uh, well, Dave. Not, as, not as much as I needed to talk to him as it came up and somehow this happened again. Okay. I, I, I never asked for this. But you had the opportunity, both of you guys had the opportunity to talk off the air or on the air. You both chose on the air. So, no, not correct again. I uh, okay. left it open completely. I didn't. Uh, I got an offer for after the show or before the show. I said it's up to the show. I, I, I don't care. Dave, you preferred to talk about it on the air. The uh, incident occurred on the air, so I thought the resolution should occur on the air as well, <clears throat> if there is one. Because I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying that. You know. You know. We'll see. We'll see what goes on. What's got you so upset, Dave? All right, Ronnie B. What's gotten me up so upset is another man who consistently calls a man's wife. A cunt, uh, fat, um, a bitch. Um, she does nothing, and then also going from there into her sabotaging you in some way, and having this Machiavellian thing where she's the puppet master, and anyone who talks badly about Fred or a podcast, she somehow has fucking brainwashed them. And to doing their her bidding, she's an amazing person. No, you true. You're talking to Fred that way. Is that the same argument that you've had? Yes, it with is. Fez, it is. And the same argument you had yesterday with Franklin. Yes. And the same argument you've had with Mafia Life, Chris. Well, I Chris, I don't re recall. But well, Chris ro uh, wrote into me yesterday. As you know, Chris and and Fred aren't even friends right now. But the one thing that they agree on. Well, everyone busts Chris's balls. I mean, the, but Fred Franklin and Fez, yes. Okay. So, uh, Fred, is that the way you say it, or you say it differently? Oh, I'll address it point by point because mm -hmm. uh, the first point of where do I, why do I dress his wife as a cunt and a bitch and all these various things, is because I tell the truth. Um, I haven't right. said one thing that I didn't feel was truthful in my own mind. Mm -hmm. I, I'm allowed to come to my own conclusions and my own opinions about people. And with his, with my experiences with his wife, that is the conclusions I came to. I, I haven't seen her. I've never called her fat. Um, but I have called her a cunt. I have called her a bitch. And uh, you spend, sure. But you spend hours. Where do you get that idea that podcasts. I spend hours? Where do you get that idea? I listened. I have audio. I heard it fucking last night. Last I'm not gonna if fucking... you heard it last night, that's because I have been on pins and needles about coming in here and discussing this. And last night I had to vent somewhat. Sure. Well, do you, would, would you like you, me to tell you? I, I why mean, would you vent here on the show? Why? Why? The, I'm not vent. I was invited here before you go on a cunt rampage. Once there wasn't a cunt rampage. It was my point you, of view. It, it, you know why I do a podcast? Well, no, Fred. Why? Because I want to get my point of view out there and without it All being right. tarnished. All right. Now hold on. Now, so you're allowed to have a point of view, yep. right? Yep. But if anyone has a point of view on Fred. You try to fucking absolutely That's destroy... Not true. Who? who? What are you talking who? about? Who? All of my wife, for starters, who hasn't posted about you in a year, whatever. Okay. You Dave, had a Dave, I think you need a slap of the truth. Are you ready for it? Are you really ready for some truthful, honest talk? Fred, go from ahead. Band? Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. I want to hear. Okay. When, well, we're when talk I yes, both of each yes, other. Yes, yes, I, yes, on, yes. I'm saying. Uh, I, I, it's one thing that you guys are arguing, another thing I want to I'm not get, arguing. Okay, whatever you are, but I want to at least keep it, you know, so it, it makes radio sense. I know. This is about, and it seems like the only problem between you guys is about uh, not so much Dave, but his family. 
not even his fa- I've never met his kids or seen his kids or okay. been invited to any place having to do with his kids since okay. his kids were, for- were born. What is, what I, is my the problem thing is, is with his wife. All right, what exactly is it? Okay. Um, whew, it, it goes back so far. Um, first off, this has come a full circle of me saying this for years, okay? Long before it's come to the point, this Sunday has been being built scoop by scoop by scoop to ultimately with Fezzi is putting the cherry on it to where it gets the attention that it is, okay? I don't know what you're talking about now. Sunday scoop? I, I've been, I'm trying you're to use desserts? metaphors. Oh, okay. Uh, see, you're making fun. No, but what, not, what I'm Frank. about go to just, give you. Just go ahead. What I'm about to give you is tough love, not from a fan. I don't need it. You're not you obviously fucking... do, my friend. You need it from somebody you're who's... You're not my counselor. Then you know what? Why the fuck am I here? Why am I wasting my breath if you're not open to fucking discussion? Why don't we at least let Fred okay. talk and then you'll have a chance right. to talk. You invited him in and now okay, okay. we're going nowhere with it. Go ahead, Fred. Why did... Why when you, you hate decide, I don't hate your wife. I hate what she did to me. And I know what she's done to me. I'm very observant, Okay. The only thing I ever wanted about you and your wife, as far as me interacting, was you were moving to Brooklyn, and I wanted to make it an easier move for a person starting their family as I possibly could. That involves months in beforehand looking for apartments on your behalf. Casey, I discussed it with her. I said I might be able to find a few apartments. She said, see what you can do, but we have something locked up. I did everything I can to get you guys straight and give you a solid foundation, okay? I did, whether you okay, like it or not. all right. Go ahead. Keep going. You needed a van to move into your new apartment. I offered it for months before you moved. You finally accepted it the Sunday morning that you were moving at 7.30 in the morning. Now, Dave, it was a rainy Sunday morning. I did not expect you to call. But when you did, I woke the fuck up out of bed. I threw on some shorts, and I went down and cleaned out a van that was full of a week's worth of construction debris in the fucking rain to do whatever I can to make it easier for you. I didn't check to see if there were driver's licenses involved. I didn't check to see anything. Okay. Uh, uh, Let me continue, please. And then you can jump in because I'll stop. Okay, go ahead. When I called the next day to say they accepted my van... They accepted it. It was great. I fucking unloaded. I had to do everything. Pitsy showed up four fucking hours late in the rain to pick it up. And then they showed up five hours later to fucking pick it up and return it with no communication whatsoever. Your personal life suddenly came on the air from a perspective that I don't think was appreciated by Casey. She doesn't mind whatever you do on the air. But the second something negative was brought up, Dave, I'm telling you from that day on, I was targeted. Because I brought a personal issue onto the air on this radio show, okay? And that is my only problem. And, and see, when you start a little snowball and you're a semi-celebrity and fans have access to you through message boards and you're a moderator and you have... And people take what she says from an inside view like they're, part, like they're in the show now. And when she says that Fred talked about me on the air, what a scumbag he is. You know what? To somebody who's just an outside fan or just a message board poster, that carries a lot of weight. And then it spreads amongst people. Then it gets posted. Then it gets this. Then it gets that. And before you know what happened, because I called in with a moment of honesty of what happened to me, your wife ended up hating me, including a week later when you asked me to come by and help you with the TV. Once again, I rolled out of bed in the middle of the fucking night, brought you tools that you did not have accessible, and the second I walked into the apartment, your wife went into the bedroom, and she never came out again. Okay. Ever. Well, first of all, she was extremely ill when when that happened. She was, I don't recall the exact time, but she was, wait a second, yes, I do. She was fucking pregnant, probably. Okay. If it was, it wasn't even Hold on. Noticeable. So now I'm going to answer you back, okay? So you're saying Fred's wrong. He's o- She's always liked him. Fred, do you recall after the... Va- By the way, here's probably what she was upset about. It wasn't that, you know, um, you talked about it on the thing. We offered you beer and food and all this shit. And you made it sound like, yeah, they used my van. Or I came in, I helped them with their TV. And then they just threw me out. That's the way you made it sound over the year. Like, we didn't, you know, we kind of... And we were constantly offering you things. You were turning them down. We were saying, Fred, can I, can I get, get you this? Can I get you that? Do you want some cake? That's the one night with the TV. What now, about when you no, borrowed the no, van hold, hold without me checking on anything? Pitchy showed up hours late. I was covered in 
soot. I was fucking standing out in the rain pleading well, with no communication. Now I'm gonna, th- th- hold on. What about that day? Nobody even thanked me. I thank you profusely, Fred. You did You, you, you didn't, didn't. think about I did. Pitsy did on your behalf when he returned no, it five I hours called, late. No, 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 I called you. Your communication was shit. Okay, Fred, Absolute first of all. Absolute shit throughout. You burnt my entire day that day. Okay, first of all, I called you. The, the van thing was because... We thought we had a car, and you know, and so that's why I didn't take you up but on it. But you didn't. Then, uh, we didn't find out till that morning. We're, everyone was under the impression that the, uh, the former intern Pitts what, had okay. a fucking big okay. truck. One he question. shows up to Just my one house question. in a Toyota. One for question. Sakes, one, a I, I'm not laughing at that. It's uh, not uh, funny uh, because that was my fucking life that day. I'm laughing at Pitts. Let me ask you one question: Was there a point? That you felt comfortable enough to call me at 7.30 and say, Fred, let me borrow your van. Fred, we used to be Was friends. There a, then where did it go wrong, Dave? Hold what on. the fuck did I do other than go out of my way every step of the Fred. fucking way Fred. for you and your family? Fred. What did I do? Fred. Tell me, Dave. Let me speak. I heard and you I say will. I flattened tires the other day on the fucking radio, Let me Dave. speak and I What will. did I do? Fred, will you let me finish now? We're not. We're going to go back and forth. Okay? First of all, weeks after, the, not even weeks, uh, days after the television thing, what did we, we kept wanting to help you, you wouldn't, but finally, you accepted an invitation to dinner, we took you and your wife and it was out. The, it, your so wife wait, ignored like, me, and ignored my no, wife the entire she, meal, because there was with three fucking, people. just staring at us, just ignoring us, the, the, the feeling of dining with someone who didn't want to be there was so she horrible, was not, and let me tell you something else, if you seem to forget. First off, you offered me a beer, which is all you had, and I don't drink beer. Then, if you remember, you offered me a glass of water from the sink you pissed in, you fucking asshole. And I called in about that, too. You don't remember that. That's that's, that's where I always fill up my water. So how do you you think I felt that I fucking went home after helping you out up until midnight, and then I turned on the show the next fucking day, and the glass of water you offered me, you just pissed in the fucking sink. Well, first of all, you didn't know about that. The, You're the, fucking right, I didn't. No, 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 I'm saying you didn't even know about I didn't even start piss, pissing in the sink until weeks later, and that's not what it's about. Fred, Dave, why, why... It's a culmination of things okay, of where I've been on. a constant okay. target by your wife. Hold on, hold on. If you don't see it, okay. that I've just been defending myself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. What has happened? Okay, so you have all those fucking problems with us, right? Fine. No. No, wait, wait, Your wait, wife. wait, 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 wait. I okay. have no problems with Fine, you. Fred. What I think you are is completely oblivious Fred, to the Fred, fact that Fred. someone who married you couldn't have a life before they married you of wanting online supremacy. She is fucking power hungry. She was a moderator. She would ban people. She created a little group, and they are vicious fucking assholes. Okay, Fred. They are vicious, and when she sends out a text and they communicate amongst each other, it all comes out in unison. I see it well, come she has the friends. same ex- They are not friends, Dave. They are followers who are dangerous. She has she built is not your wife a, a would, cult leader. While, you're, while you were at work, being. my friend. Ha- you know what? Not to interrupt, but I have to. Fred's story, I mean, other than the moving stuff, is the same fucking thing that happened to me. What has she ever posted about you? As soon as I said something, back in May is when everyone on the internet and ronfez.net turned on me. Because she's friends nowhere. with those people. We've been going... Wait, hold That's on. That's the whole she's fan base, going, Dave. No, but no, wait, if people go, have been going to message board parties for years and you say shit about someone, these people aren't supposed to respond? And I they didn't responded. Even, I didn't even say shit. I said you were say you were on the air saying your life is hell. I said somebody in the family takes some responsibility. Everything turned you after that. You criticized a woman days after she had a child, and you fucking and yes, I talked about my family. If I commented on your family, you would probably get pretty fucking pissed off. Am I right or am I wrong? People can talk about their own families. It doesn't give everyone the equal right. Fred, here's my main problem with you is we had a fucking sit down. No, you didn't. No, no, I mean like like months ago. Six ten months ago. And this is where I'll even be more honest. You ready for this one? I don't have a problem with you. I have a problem with Mr. Bennington. At Why? That, because at that, at that point, I was the at one. At that sit down, yeah. he fucking told me that I disappointed him. 
Now, here, and I, and I will tell you why. the way I was fucking reacting. No. I haven't been the same since he said that. Do you know what that sit-down did to me? It made me feel like the whole time that that, that, that sit-down validated the destruction of me. Yes, Dave. I don't understand that. Fred. Yes, I had I, no I will, voice. I will tell you, because you weren't part of that. I was. I had no voice in that. And Zero. what happened is, when I asked Fred to uh, lay off uh, Casey and HTG, and he agreed... Uh, and then something came up later. What I right there after the, right yeah. after the sit down. Look what happened to Fred. Boom, boom, boom. Chimney sweep, chimney sweep. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Frank phone calls. But my wife didn't have any part in that. I can guarantee you that because I said if you f- do anything like that, you are seriously fucking with me. And yeah. I said, and Fred, I am telling you, I swear on my children. You better she, stop doing that. She, she got you the message. You better stop doing that, yeah, pal. I'll do what I want. Then you're going to lose I'll do what them I want. Because you're wrong. I'll do what I want. You are wrong. You don't fucking you tell me what to do. If you keep swearing on your children, for if you keep swearing on your children, my friend, you're going to lose them. Well, they're fucking fine and dandy right now, Fred. Then keep swearing on them about something that is completely Fred, wrong, Dave. I will do what I want. Okay. I'll swear on it. I'll, I'll be honest. Okay. You want the truth. Okay. Let's bring the truth. That's right. I'm going to bring the truth back on you, brother. You're making fun of me? What am I, Mr. T? What is that? My voice is no, funny? No, that's your wrestling My voice is funny to you? Fred. Oh, is that my wrestling what, and, voice? And, and, and now we're doing hey, good fellas? Hey, Dave. What? what are you, two years along in your fucking marriage? My kids are full fucking grown. I know what it takes. So what? All I try to do is fucking help you. Right. A young family. And let me tell you and, something and, else. While we're at it, of why I'm such a bitter, angry guy. Okay. I don't know what happened with Ron in my relationship with him, but for some reason... I asked him to do a recording one time. He allowed me. And the next day, the fucking guy came up with the contest for a thousand podcasts out of fucking blue air. And it shocked me. For once in my lifetime, I'm going to have a shot on the radio. Wait! And then I went on these message boards to try to promote myself. My once-in-a-lifetime shot to maybe do something other than what I've been doing. And your wife destroyed me in advance. Absolutely she not. made a piece of shit out of me on every fucking message board. Oh, the threads are gone, Dave. I've looked for them. They've all been removed, Dave. There's saw, no proof of them. No, but I, re- I remember There's the no proof. No, Fred, Fred, Fred. I remember exactly what she wrote, which was... I am Why did she for- get involved at all Wait in my second. podcast? Wait a second. Why? She peeped... The name of the thread was what the uh, podcast are you looking forward to most? She writes, I am looking forward to the Blowhards fucking show because mm-hmm. she's a fan. Mm-hmm. That's not a slap in your face, Fred. That's not how the it happened, The name of the thread That's was called what uh, podcast are you looking That's forward to? That's not how to? it happened. You you are oblivious, my friend. And Fred, time, th- I know that that was the name what? of it. I remember that You know, that there's thread. one way to resolve this. And there's only one way, Dave. What? Actually, there's two ways. You can forget your family and divorce them and everything like you've said the last few days. I've never or said that. Wait, you can, hey, I've never oh, said yes, that. you did. I said yesterday, I'm going to get divorced. Yesterday, you said you would divorce your wife if this was true. I said I'm going to get divorced? Yes. No, no, no. Yes, I said did. if shit, if I found out that there was all these backstabbings and dealings yes. and fucking yes. a million different yes. people. Yes. Okay, and what's the second thing? The second thing is to go talk to your wife and, and just lay out some apologies and start from scratch. What do you mean? Who apologized when to When my wife ever fucked up, and she has because it's been years and years... I would have the balls enough well, Fred, to go up to my wife and say, apologies are due. Fred, Fred, Fred. The things are made mistakes. May no I, one wants Fred, you to lose Fred, your family Fred, Fred, and lose your kids. My wife has apologized to me. Okay. And, you th- and, and, and I'll either go so far as to say, who knows? So does that maybe mean that she, she did do what you think that maybe, she'd never do? No, what no, did no. she apologize for? There was something for? about uh, um, some flowers and bullshit. And when I feel like she's been wrong, I've said, what the fuck? But it's, it's not, whatever. I fu- She's apologized when she had to. All right, let me slow this down a little bit and just say, Fred, what's the kind of stuff that's been happening to you that you said you're so... That since well, The since internet the, stuff has gotten into your personal life. Well, the first time that I um, came to you, mm-hmm. and there was a lot of stuff before me right. coming to you, but I, you wouldn't uh, return my email at the time. I felt I was a burden in your life, which I probably mm-hmm. was. There was probably a lot of people complaining, why'd you give this guy a podcast, why'd you mm-hmm. do that? And you probably looked at me negatively, like everybody else did. So if you remember correctly, I met you outside the XM office one morning, mm-hmm. and I told you, Ron, it's gotten to the point I can't deal with it. My business is being put on the internet. Yeah. Crank phone calls are coming in all day long and tying up my business lines. I was an advertiser in the three Verizon Yellow Pages, Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan. And and let me tell you, the Manhattan Yellow Pages alone, I was paying $8,500 a month for 20 years. 
problem free. Brooklyn was my home base, no problem. My my Verizon online profile, where if someone were to go to look up my company, yeah. was so destroyed, so destroyed by by malicious. Uh, Things to where the point if somebody went to look at my company after they would, they, they would, they would, nobody would come to me. Right. This time, two years ago, I had 40 employees. Right now, I am working by myself out of my van with my son helping me. I have no advertising anymore. My phones cannot be answered properly at my house because the phone calls never, when you, when you keep making phone calls to a business, eventually it, 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 it was non-fucking-stop, man. I can't tell you. And and then I was getting solicitors calling me non-stop. And, I, and one time I finally called. The, I, I asked the guy, I said, what? he said, well, you put your name on a list. And then it suddenly realized that everywhere, is someone really putting my fucking name on solicitor lists? And it turned out I, I changed the phone number of 20 years, man. My fucking kid got a podcast, and I, I brought him in here, if you remember, yeah. at the XM studio, and he announced that he's getting into radio and he's doing a little podcast. His online profile at, at the college was destroyed, just destroyed to where he... He, I'm, I'm, he didn't get out of radio for that reason alone, mm. but he understood somewhat of what I was going through, and he didn't want a part of it. He just didn't want a part of it. So and, he, here's stuff from the Internet fights really going into real life still, which I think everybody... If you go to a certain website right now they're posting about how much of an asshole is Fred is verbatim of... of uh, I, I can't even... It's not... What the price There's of a website me, that's set up just against you all the time. Not just against me. Um, Casey was involved in the starting of it. What, and, what and website? The cre- um, that fucked or whatever, that bag She shit. had nothing to do with well, it. Well, with she that was, crowd, she, she is in deep. No, but see, that's a lie, Fred. So you, I, I can't... She I'm was not a moderator at FBA. I'm not up on boards. Oh, is it I FBA only, or F- Fuck the bag? Yes, she was a moderator on FBA. And all on, on those... FBA. Listen, Dave, I don't know all that shit. I just know when I started getting targeted. She when I reached out to website. your family. Otherwise, I was coasting through fucking marriage and everything for years until I fucking did that. I mean, all I can say is the same thing. Is harassing phone calls have started. To my house, to my parents' house. The so what? Thing? I mean, they, they, what I, do you mean, so what? I've gotten death I'm not going to get harassed from I've my house. I heard you say that I did something. No, what did I do? I didn't say anything. When you anything. moved to Brooklyn, you said I flattened some tires or something like Fred, that. Fred, I said I'm going to play detective work. What did I work. do? I said I'm going to play detective work. I, I, and that's no, I want to hear what you think I did. I'm I really curious. I thought that you flattened my tires. I didn't. Because you and six other people... You also said people, I was a bunch of fake names on a website. See, Am I that also? You've never posted under... Entry. You, you, on whack bag. Wait a second. Fred, you've said that you wanted to spy on people and check what they were doing. So you create. You said on the Ryan Fence show during the sit down. And Debbie even knows about it. It was with during her. It was her name. During the sit down, you said you create fake Yeah, because I did bounced every time I fucking. They were talking about me. I wanted to see what they were saying. But it was that your, is do you realize? A fake name. So now real, the story please, changes. Please. Now the story they, changes. They're picking out little tiny things that make no, no fucking that's relevance a big deal. whatsoever. It's not. Let me tell you something. When you would ride off to work every morning, yeah. that's when your wife's day would begin of sitting on pal talk and discussing your job behind your back and defending you like like not just a fan but a wife to the point a defensive Jewish wife. I have so, one. So what's wrong with I that? I have one. They defend to the point of fucking craziness. They are insane. And I got one. I understand. Takes a little taming. Takes a little being a fucking man. Read your fucking text. Don't listen to what I have to say. I'm, I'm listening towards you. I, I, why, why am I doing here? Defending my fanship? What the fuck am I doing? Do you know I never would have had a podcast if my first one wouldn't have been blown so bad? I never even would have fucking done this for my house. I just need a voice. I need an outlet. I That's need fun. someone to hear something that I have to say with no fucking ten posters jumping on me. And then the crank phone call's beginning. Do you know that last night after my podcast, I had to take my phone off the hook the whole night? It's, it's insane. Do you know that? It's happened no to idea. me. It's happened. Do you know that? I've gotten threats, cell phone shit. You are on the radio. Texts. I'm a fan. Well, You're on the you radio, Dave. Said I'm a fan you who calls do a it. podcast. Now can I do. You, can now you I do. see the coincidence of it? No, I can't. Oh, I, I can see. I, I, what am I supposed to what I am mean, I doing here? I got an, all right, I got an email yesterday from GVAC. GVAC, who uh, stood up for me against RonFez.net and all the hating that started there on me after all this started. And he's he wanted me to know that he's been attacked by what he calls the Casey Posse. 
The, the, uh, the people that magically appear and attack like sharks anytime someone says something against Dave and Casey. Because they're friends, guys. And friends should defend one another. To a fault. Did no, I no, ever no. get defended on that website? By me? Fuck yes. By Have I defended Ron and Fez on that website? Fuck yes. Capital F-U-C-K-Y-E-S. I started a thread called the Positivity Thread huh. two weeks ago. Yeah. Two or three weeks ago, saying, let's turn this ship around. And I said, hey, stop cutting it up. The people who went after you, Fez, I fucking said, this guy's being a fucking dick. I made phone calls to Mooch and to other people saying, you know what? If people go after our show and try and split me and Fez apart or this or that, fucking attack them. And here's what's, what's oh, what, really? what, what I've got. I... Did oh, really? that. I didn't say about no. It wasn't about fucking. Uh, you you have nothing attacked? to do with me. Who was getting so attacked? So don't you bring it in. Now I'm talking to Fez because all of a sudden I'm in a fucking two fucking front war here. You're as angry I'm as I've been for two years. Germany, I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to see you finally but have the fucking anger. The fucking Nazis are going to win. First of all, first of all, I had I talked to so many people saying here, let's fucking go after people and be positive. But you're the one, for the last three weeks, every day, you carve out an hour of the show to bitch about me and my wife. That's <clears throat> of the fucking fact. And we're on Audible. Let's have a little plug for that. Or are you Go back and check Audible and see who brings it up every day. Fez, Dave's in here with Ronnie B trying to fucking laugh and do comedy. But every day you bring up, hey, know what sucks? Dave what? and his wife. Yeah, I say that. That's or, a fucking or, paraphrase. Or is someone just pissed that I wasn't letting you run roughshod all over me anymore? That I was calling you out on disrespecting me on the air and I trying to tur turn callers against we me? We are a ball-busting show. On Opie and Anthony, a producer can make fun of uh, Ant. All I heard was, uh, wh wh well, you know, uh, when's Fez coming back? When's Fez coming back? Uh, I, I start feeling my legs again. I get strong, and then this shit starts. That didn't happen at all. In fact, if anything, I stayed quieter and quieter. But the, the but but then, if I I laugh at a joke that's been made at your expense, it's hey Dave, you don't have any respect. I didn't fucking realize all of a sudden just because you. You feel better, according to you, that now it's it's a fucking Mariah Carey on TRL where no one can look at her in the eye. No one's allowed. You're, you're saying... Fuck yeah. you. I never said that. You, all of a sudden... Yeah, yeah, you said you're Mariah Carey on TRL. You said that. Not to mention other posts making have, me look bad. And you have... By my wife or me? By your wife. Making you look bad? Yes. What were these posts? Hey, can I can I tell you the truth, uh, Dave? I'm hearing somebody that has no respect for for Fez right now. I have respect. But, He's I mean, yelling the things at that me. You're saying you're not saying. Well, here's the places that you're wrong, but you're saying that you're better supposedly. Blah blah. I didn't blah. say you're, it. You're very angry with him. Yeah. You guys have anger issues. It's not hard to say. He is my boss. I get that. I don't know that if someone makes a funny joke, I'm not allowed to laugh. A caller calls up and says a funny line, and it has Fez's name in the punchline, and I can't chuckle? The fuck? I mean, that's that's the total opposite of what we're supposed to be doing here, which is having fun. That, and, and that has totally disappeared. You don't have fun anymore, so it's like you want to make me not have fun. How can he have fun when he comes into a job where his, his bank account was just fucking hacked and he thinks that your wife had, was involved in it in some way? How can he have fun Come with on. you? My wife stole my... Well, then where's the money? Because we don't have any. I, we, she had no part, and none of her friends have any part in, in uh, forging checks. Or whatever are, are the hell went on, and then the, it? and there's all the posts about the shit insurance oh, here man. and everything. It just it makes me look bad. I, I always wanted to help you. I always offered to help you with the insurance. Sucks. It's not a reflection on here. It's it's the insurance company. It's a fucking statement on modern healthcare in America. For Christ's sakes, I can't believe you would align with an insurance company. So why don't you align with other corporations? Why don't you fucking align with Bill Gates and all the millionaires? Yeah, because the, the prescriptions that I get for free, the second heart attack that I didn't have to pay for. You're a millionaire, and, and you... 
And he gets better health insurance than me. All I right. can't afford this, the Fez's health plan. This, period. This literally one thing doesn't have to do with it. It doesn't, but he comes after me. The reality of it is this. If fucking Dave and his wife are taking harassing phone calls over a radio show or the internet, that's fucking weird. It should stop. If anybody's Absolutely. fucking if around with Fred's business. Absolutely. No, but I'm just saying, me, across Brian. the board, let's all I agree. agree. If yes. Fred is taking... I've never done anything to this no. guy. Yeah. Ron I've trying to say... Fake name no one, I, what Ron's trying to say... What I'm trying to say is anybody is doing anything wrong to any of you guys off of the radio show or even the internet, it's wrong. I agree. If somebody's hassling Fred at home, Fez at home, or Dave at home, these are all... This is insanity. I couldn't agree more, and I strongly I've never done feel that call people and tell the truth. And I, if, if the truth hurts, if some Fred's people, man, fucking, I'm sorry. If you're getting fucked with, that should not be occurring. If Fez's parents get fucked with, that should not be occurring. The point is, it shouldn't be going down. If I'm getting fucked with, it shouldn't be going down. But I'm not behind it. Nor is my wife. Is all my point was. That's my main. I don't think you issue. understand how much power your wife wields. I she don't has you think Fred, you do. Then everyone has power on the internet, Fred, because no, they don't. Because Not people like, no, no, have no, no. She's friends. a wife that's talked about daily. She, there are people that admire this show and you, Dave. There are. No one admires me, they Fred. They do. Fuck that. You are a celebrity, Well, Dave. whatever. I mean, you Dave, know. Dave, I, Dave I, I, please, I, for a second. You have achieved your lifelong dream and you're letting... That was not my dream, by the way. You, you, the dream of being part of the Ron and Fez show. The radio, yes. And Ron and Fez show is my dream, but not being a quote-unquote celebrity, of which I'm not. you're willing to throw it all away rather than just accept the moment of honesty of what people who have only tried Fred, to help Fred, you Fred. are continuing to. Uh, I'd sit down with you tomorrow, Dave. I, am, I have no problems with here's you. Here's the thing. Think, Freddie. It could I, be Fred, out. Fred, Fred, I have heard your opinion. Now you... you that was the opinion now, of then. It wait, a second, wait a second. But I've had people try to kill me and I'm talking to Fred, them today, I, Dave. Fred, I, I have heard your opinion to then dedicate every podcast calling someone a cunt. Not, you don't you got think the is, total wrong idea of my podcast. You don't think it's obsessive? You know what my podcast is? My podcast is honestly to entertain the people who listen to me and hope they'll pick up something from somebody who started as absolutely nothing and somehow, somehow in this crazy fucking world ended up with a successful marriage and a successful business. And that's all I ever wanted to give you, a I little piece it. of that. I got it, but you, you don't, don't have... No, no, because you I don't. have listened to you, you, if you but look, you repeat then sometimes you're listening the same to one things. Thing, because that's what is on my mind. It's the only forum I have, Dave. The one chance I had at getting my shot at your dream was completely buried under internet bullshit. I, I it was completely it's gone. It's, I'm looked as the fucking cunt guy instead of a guy. After everything I've achieved in fucking life, I'm the guy who calls your wife cunt. That's who I am. Well, I, no, you know, but it, it's a that, sad fucking day. Man. Well, 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 well. But it's a that's sad a strong day. statement to say. And but it was it, true. It, it, no, it's not true. It's not true. And you who's know, a cunt? Hold on. In you, this world. You it, talk about who's a, who's a being an old school guy. Yeah. But old school guys wouldn't fucking have words about other people's wives. Okay, I, how about I, this? I, Hillary I Clinton's a cunt. I wouldn't do that. Hillary Clinton's a cunt. Well, and Fred, you know why she is? You don't know Bill you know why Clinton. She is? You know what I'm talking about. You know about. why she is? Men. Because her husband got elected president, mm, right. and she moved in to grab the power. You know what I'm talking she about. She moved in to grab the power, and she so, put together a home little health commission behind the scenes. Scenes, My wife is and she became Clinton. known as a woman who is getting somewhere on her husband's back. So and she is ultimately Hillary. is a cunt in my eyes. My wife is Hillary Clinton. In a smaller, in a smaller okay. world. Sure. All right. I just in a smaller world, sure her husband I, has a prestigious just, spot, yeah. and she runs with it for the power All right. grab. I just want to grasp her own your insanity. Way. I want. Yeah, I want. My I want insanity. I, I just let me, want to grasp. It's an observation on my part. It's not insanity. My wife is a. It's an observation. What would everybody like just to once and for all squash this? And I mean, seriously, squash it and keep it off the fucking air. How about a little honesty? I mean, it's only going to be squ Everything can only come up and, and end up either exploding or just coming out clean. Okay. I fucked up. I made a bad grab for power. I didn't know that the internet and my marriage would conflict so bad. I didn't know that this group of friends would eventually fucking sink me. I didn't know that, that getting in with these people who were going to spread words about me would also interfere with my marriage and my husband's dreams. I'm sorry. Here's what... That would solve everything for me. Okay, um... 
for us to have a sit down, we can't agree. I don't agree. want to sit down. Well, I mean, for it us always to agree. Against me. It, even the word sit down is against me. Okay. I, I'm not talking. I'm saying we can't all agree on something, and then a couple weeks later, if something bad happens to Apologies one of us. cover everything, man. Wait a second. If something bad happens to one of us, immediately it'll jump be residual to the conclusion. Effect. It'll be residual effect. No, a, you're, you're, oh, there is a big mountain here. Oh, saying. there is. There will be residual Without effect proof. rolling down from what happened for the next year. Without There's nothing you could do. The point There's is, nothing you could do. There's crazed people who who admire your wife to the point where they want to impress her with their viciousness. And there's crazed people there who is. admire other people who, who fucking threaten me. The point is, if you really want to squash it, then the point is, when something bad happens to us, which is inevitable, someone will fucking email me or you or text. We don't, without proof, immediately jump to the conclusion of, you know what? That's Fred fucking with me, or that's Casey fucking with me. But that she, you don't be, know when I'm fucking with you because I don't. All I do you is don't say, have any proof either, Fred. Otherwise, you would have brought it in. You don't have any proof. You don't have it, Fred. What did I just do in here for a fucking hour? Are you fucking. You're, you're just a brick wall, aren't you? You are I'm so not in a love. Brick wall. You, you are so really in love that you not. can't see this woman tainted. I am you not are a so brick in wall. love, and she is the queen of your world that Fred. you couldn't imagine Fred. a stain on her clothing, could you? She is just the fucking apple of your eye. There can't be a blemish or a worm That's in right, that apple. Fred. That's right, she Well, I'll is. be the first to tell you, I've been married for fucking 20 years, and my wife is far from perfect. If she I fucks up, I'll be I've the first to say I've never said that my wife is perfect. Or well, no I'm telling you, I'm is. telling you, one man to another who's dealt with one woman for a long time... <sighs> That you gotta grab your nutsack eventually, or you're gonna lose I what you love. I fucking have my balls. No, don't, you don't. fucking condescend me. You're very me. childish. You fucking very childish stop. and very immature. Yeah, I'm, I'm you childish. Have, you, oh, yes, you I, are. You don't my know friend. what you're talking about. You're in about. a man's body you with have, a child's mind. You make mind. up your own illusions okay. of me, yeah. my wife, yeah. my family. Yeah, I do. It's I, fantasy. It's my I, opinion. I let do. me let me ask you this, Dave. I can squash it with an apology. What is it that you want from Fred, and what is it you want from Fez? Just said it that when something bad happens to us which it probably will, that we cannot, without proof, fucking jump to the conclusion that it's that person. It's, it's the, our, I'll call our, each other our opponent right for now, because I can't think of a better word. But we can't jump to the conclusion that it's our opponent when it very well might not be. That's my but you're point. Wrong. That's it is. my point. It is. That's what I want. It is. That's it what is. I want. You could keep saying that's what you want. It is your wife, Dave. No, it's it not. It is your wife. It isn't. Your wife was involved in a message board, and she got a power rush, man. It happens in life. It happens. And now that she has two kids and this shit's falling on her, I feel bad for her, man. I swear I do. I don't want any woman with two children to be sitting there with any stress, added stress in their life. But she created it, just, and she can take it away. Last it night. can stop. What are you talking I, about? I would say yes to that, except what are we supposed to do if harassment does keep going That's on? That's what I just said, that without proof, we can't jump to the conclusion that it's orchestrated by the other person. That would fucking make sense. But there's a pattern. I know when realist- it happens. There's a pattern. It's a distinct pattern. It's a distinct pattern that Come never on, happened man. to me again Come in my on. life. What do it we ne- do about the harassment is my question. What do we do about the harassment? I've been harassed for two years. You ignore it. You 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 say shit. This really sucks. Or you try and find out. Why have you been harassed for two years? You try and find. I've gotten the, the shit go for for a long time. I've gotten letters and shit and fucking weird weirdness has gone on in my life. Here's what we could do about the harassment. We try and find who the harasser is. I and not, we go I after you, them. I just told you, Fred. Though. If there was proof of this occurring, you would show it to me. If she You've was honest, if she was me. honest, she would tell you when you got home today. I fucked up, Dave. I did. Everything they're saying is true. You think she will? You've never shown me anything. Dave, if Fred, everything they're that? saying is true, no, and I'm she's sorry. not going to do that because there's nothing to apologize for. That's just for pride, her. fucking <laughs> with her. That's just pride, fucking with her. All right. It's okay. We'll all still love her. She's the she's the wife of somebody that we listen to every day. She's the mother of your children, and I respect her for that forever. But I did nothing to deserve this other than bring your personal life on the air in a truthful way, and she took offense to it, Dave, and never wanted it to happen again. And she did everything she so could, Fred, but she picked on the wrong was enemy. So Don't you see? Ago. Well, that Don't was so you long see? ago, and it's over. Don't you see she picked up? No, it's not. No, I mean, but, but she picked we on had, the wrong guy, and all she has to do is say she did. But we had 
She Squashed thought I'd it. fold like like Lucci did. She you, think I'd fold like all the people that are gone, that don't about? come around anymore because what they were made you uncomfortable. About? Dave, you, you don't listen, know what you're talking about. All she about. has to do is, if she loves you and loves her children and wants to maintain the yes. marriage, she would say to you when you walk in today, Dave, I'm so sorry. I got a power grab. It See, happened. There is no power yes, grab. Yes, there was. She was a moderator on the message board that married a show host. Or show, married a show personality. It, it can, Power can drive you crazy. And please just accept it, that it can. Yeah, and it's wrong. okay. I had a guy that fucking took a shot at me, man. A bullet. And because he apologized and said that he was fucking stoned that night and there was only minimal drugs, I'm sorry. We still talk, man. It's okay. It's okay. I know people have bad days and bad nights, and they don't react to their lives properly at all times. We don't have a roadmap for our lives. The we don't thing know. was squashed, dude. It was it never was. squashed with me. You agreed to it months ago. In the past two years, I have lost my business. I have gotten diabetes. I've lost two veins, and my wife thinks that I've changed completely. I've got veins stripped out of my leg. I'm telling you, this is stress I've never my known in my life. My wife hasn't had anything to do with that. This is stress I have never known in my life, and I, I have been on the... I've, no. I have fought really unions. I have things. fought shakedown people. I've fought politicians, but your wife's a man away. I, I, I'm in Manhattan. There's contract. a shakedown. What the? F- what you're are not, you? You're just you're listening. No, you're not even listening. He, you know that he was talking about something else, Dave. Uh, we've gotten to you know. It's okay. I think everybody got there. It's okay. Do you feel like you got your points out there, though, Fred? Maybe you I weren't hope so. heard. I hope so. Is I, there I mean, anything I, else? I hope you, so. I, yeah. I, all I could do is hope so, man, because you know. I, I just, I want it to come to an end, too. I, I don't want to carry around this daily baggage that I got to defend myself on a daily basis. I, I, I'm a peaceful fucking guy. That's exactly yeah. what I've been I'm saying, Fred, for this. three f- uh, fucking weeks. The man gave me a podcast so, you know, and it was whatever. destroyed. That, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've lost my opportunity at dreams. What are you talking about? The man gave me a podcast and it was fucking destroyed. I, 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 how? I, you no, know, Dave, I'm not going to go through fucking history again, man. I, just it, it, just apologize and say it was you and fucking end it. It's okay. It's I okay. did nothing to you. Not you. Don't oh, it. my wife. I forget it. You have to I say that, you. Fred. I'm I adore not, you. I adore you. I'm not. I adore you. you know what? If I didn't adore you and your wife, I never would have offered my services to either one of you. Can you say something we nice to him now? You. So he said that. Could, he said that he adores you and your wife. Does that mean nothing to you? Ron, I don't know how to respond how you, to that. Do you adore him? Uh, so, do you adore Dave? I have always adored Dave. Oh. These are not... There's a lot of love here, Dave. On the Ron Fez radio program 48 hours ago, we said words... No, we said actions, not words. He can tell me he adores me, and so can Fez. But these aren't true Emotions. It is. I told you if right this second. Or I wouldn't be keep, here trying to straighten this situation out. If you out. adore me, you wouldn't attack the person I married. Let's she be real. She on a daily basis. Let's Dave. be real. She can you please, Freddy. Can you please sit she down and doesn't. talk to your wife? Can you please sit she down doesn't. and talk to her like you I never will. have before? I'll, I'm going to talk to her. You got and, tomorrow, and, and then you go into, You could settle this all, and then come go have a great vacation. Realizing me, you got a clean I finish, slate. Please, I'd love you to have a clean slate. You don't deserve the extra pressures you have. You need a clean I'm going to Fred. I am. You don't. You don't. Let me, uh, you don't. You, you've got two beautiful children. You got yeah, a beautiful great. wife. You got a great, great job. Supermodels. You got a great job. My kids are hot. Now you're mocking them. He's just trying to. When I get home today, I will. Speak to my wife if that makes you happy. It doesn't make me happy. It should, and I'll it'll say, make you happy. I want to my to hamburger medium. Well, that's cool. Bro. That's how I'll speak to her tonight. All right. And I'll cool. say, let's have baked beans. Cool, man. I'm sick. I'm sick of fucking corn. Why do I care corn about all you the more time. than you do? Corn. What the fuck am I doing here? Yeah, well, I, and I'm gonna, well, wait, wait, I know you came well, in. After talk. I speak to my wife I don't about understand. That, now you're kind of talking nutty. Dave. After yeah. I speak to my wife about that, then I'll say... Do we have any ice cream sandwiches left? All right, stop it, Dave. It's just wacky talk at this point. And you know what? That's a fault because she does eat ice cream sandwiches. I agree with you. What, is, uh, what are you saying? What? I'm going to speak to my wife. He asked me to speak to my wife. When Please. I speak to her, I'm going to say, honey, did you fold the laundry? Okay. That's how I'll speak to her. Okay. And and she'll, 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 she'll say yes. She's a good housewife. You, you, you took to speak. Speak. To yeah. Speak. She'll, so I'm gonna speak to her, and I'm gonna say, um, "Do you want to Can I squash weight? this thing between you and Dave? Can this ever fucking stop? Or, you know, I just need the dogs called off. <laughs> That's all I need. All right. Well, listen, guys. Here's the thing. 
I have told her, you know, we're, we you got to absolutely make sure there's no negative posts and this and that. Now, if people attack other people, you can't always negative blame posts the same is one role. thing. But if I know somebody was destroying another fucking person's business, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, on or that. but that's such a large scale it, thing. Or, or I, calling someone's mother or father. Right. Yeah, you I know am, that's such. These are such offensible, large scale things. I would have found out about this. She, it's she is not responsible for this. She knows how this. you feel about it, though. Why would she bring it to your attention, Dave? She thinks that she would that you would think that she fucking did the worst thing possible. Not responsible for this. You know, like we have vacation no, sometimes. Cool. Next week we have you know vacation. What? If she is, it, I don't if catch she is, her. It's perfectly cool with me. Just, just come clean and let's end it and let's, let's start over. But they, that's they're in the problem. Let me ask you a question, Dave. Why did you want to do this on the air with him instead of Buff? Because it occurred. Because it doesn't the seem air. like you want to squash anything with him. It doesn't seem like you want to settle. I do anything. want to squash it. I, I've, I've, I've. But then you're the doing plan. the craziness with the, the ice cream sandwich. So and, that was silly. I yeah. apologize. I, I, I wanted, I wanted to do it on the air because it came up on the air, pure and simple. And I think you know people always say, hey, th- there's no end to the bit. So it, it fucking exploded on the air accidentally. But now I think it should be resolved on the air. So I guess thinking radio would be my answer. But the other thing is, look, I do want to squash this, man. Here's the point. People get fucked with in life sometimes. And it sucks. And it's going on with me, too. And I'm not pointing the finger. Believe it or not, I'm not pointing the finger saying it's Fred who's fucking with me. I I mean, I won't do that anymore in the future, is my point. I won't point the finger and say, oh, Fed's fucking with me or Fred's fucking with me. I will not do that. Where did you get the idea that I ever did? Because no, uh, where did you get the idea that I ever did? Twitter account names that That's have not me. The why did you say that that was language that he uses? What language and do I use? Y- y- the the fake East Side Dave's and fake Casey Elons that pop up. It's not me. The, um, the, is there a fake me. Fez Watley out there? I know. Or yeah. a fake Ron Bennington? They tweet. Everybody's got a fake, but I don't go around fucking saying but anyone he, else is behind it. He not tweets. Me. Exactly like his podcast. He keeps reinforcing. He tweets like his podcast. What, what he said. He's used the same phrases verbatim. It's not me. Then. Well, see, you, you're, not, you're not even denying not it. That's a non-denial denial. I am telling you, it's not me. That's a denial denial. And, and well, let me tell you, you, what could I do? You want me to give you my personal name and everything? You can check Twitter, and you can have my IP address. You can have whatever you want, whatever I can do to prove to you. Whatever I can do. Here's how we squash it, then. Lie detector? In Absolutely. Whatever it takes, bro. Whatever, whatever it takes. Everybody want to get on lie detector? I'll get on one. Sure. Absolutely. Whatever it takes. I would absolutely I, do I, that. I, what, but, what am I going to... I'm fake Twitter now. Dave, uh, Before on, we go, I just want to mention Luminance, the maximum strength nighttime weight loss <laughs> formula. It's from Miller and Stone <laughs> Research. Uh, it's the unique diet pill. It's not going to give you the shakes. It's not going to keep you up all night like other diet did, pills. Did you say it's not going to give you the shits? I, or shakes. It's not going to give you the shakes. Well, not the shits. No, not that either. You're not going to be nervous from Luminance. You're actually going to get a good night's rest, and that's when Luminance goes to work. Luminance will kick in your metabolism. You're going to lose the weight, and it's going to start while you're asleep without having to worry about being up all night like the other uh, diet pills that have caffeine. Here's how you try Luminance risk-free. 1-800-430-7765. That's 1-800-430-7765. Or you can go to their website. That's MillerAndStone.com. MillerAndStone.com for Luminance. Uh, Dave, as far as the uh, the Twitter stuff go, goes, and you're saying it has to be Fred because it sounds it's just like It's very coincidental. You I don't mean, think... You know. That if I was going to, let's suppose I wanted to start a, a fake site, right? Okay. Or a fake account. I wouldn't try to steal the way Fred talks to make you look at I never Fred thought of that. and not me. Think about stuff like that. All right. But that's how I plan to squash it. And if you, if you want to keep the war going, fine. But you know what? I will. I will stop jumping to conclusions because that's what I'm going to do. Because I want to be a better person. If that, my son ever responded to my questioning like this, I'd stop his fucking college payments. I, I, there's nothing to do. Yeah. There's nothing to do. It's, it's density. Well, guess what? Maybe we're at the point where you guys, you know, no matter whether you were friends before, seems like you're not going to be friends. Uh, uh, 
I don't, I don't have to defend myself daily. Bez, I have no problem. You and Dave have got to come to some fucking solution because this can't go on every day. Right. It's annoying me. It annoys the listeners if you want to be the be truthful. I don't even show you emails where people go, I'm not fucking listening anymore because you guys are driving me nuts. It's, ti- it's tiring to me. I, 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 I'm so if we can't, you know, we can't fucking handle it. Somebody's got to, you know, be fucking changed. It just doesn't make sense. I understand. <laughs> and that's, uh, I just, uh, what I wanted to get out of today, I mean, I know this was Fred and Dave's thing, but I just wanted to point out similarities along the way that have happened to Fred, Franklin, myself, now GVAC. I just wanted to get that across. You feel like you did? I, I hope so. I hope I did. Is he crazy when he says this stuff? I think and, so. And Fred's crazy, Franklin's crazy, it, GVAC's crazy. Um, and Mafia like Chris. I don't even Fuck remember him. GVAC. GVAC, he wrote a... I got an email from email. GVAC. Yeah, I mean, having a posse, and again, having friends defend each other is what actual friendship to me is. Then, then you know what? Put these fucking friends' names up. So it's not fucking uh, stinky 558. Just say, hey, the person who's writing shit about you, his name is fucking Bill Anderson. Right. But if that's your fucking friend... Then fucking let them stand up and be counted. Plenty's people aren't friends. Then you just fucking said they're friends. No, I'm, G, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm saying I don't know the extent of his thing. It's I could like, give you G Bag's real fucking name when I have a friend. I know who it is. No, I'm saying is friends. Does he mean like you know the the other people, the Solaris, the Missies, or is friends like the you know just like you said, stinky five to eight? Because if that's the case, they're not a friend. Maybe they're. You're saying just the are. opposite. I don't know. Yes, you do. No, All right, that's it for the Ron and Fez show. I, I'm going to fucking tell you the truth. Today's the last day and uh, with Fez and uh, Dave. I'm going to fucking just tell you guys off the air. If it starts up, I'm going to just say take it off the air. Even if it's during the show, you'll both have to fucking walk out in the hall. Because you, you can't make it entertaining enough on the air. You can't. Fred, thanks for coming in. Thanks, uh, you might not like what you heard back, but at least you got to say what you felt you need to say.